In this video, we will discuss the whole question of uh, IMET math this session. And question number 53. Question is the equation below has two roots. That is, this equation has two roots. And uh, what is the sum of two roots? And these are options. Uh, given equation in this question is uh, x plus 4 upon x plus 1 is equals to x. Uh, now, using cross multiplication, we have uh, x plus 4 is equals to x into x plus 1. Now after some simple equation this implies that uh, x plus 4 is equals to x square plus x. Now uh, this cancel with this and we, we know that uh, 4 can be written as 2 power 2 and also know that uh, if uh, x power 2 is equals to a power 2 this implies that uh, x is equals to plus minus a. So using this result this x is equals to plus minus 2 are the root of equation first because we have this equation given and for this equation we have two roots. Uh, plus 2 and minus 2 now uh, in this question sum of the roots of equation 1 is equals to uh, 2 plus minus 2 which is equals to 0 now options uh, option a b c d are incorrect and option e is correct number 54 of IMET and question is uh, a pentagon has uh, one line of symmetry all five sides are 6 cm and the interior angle in anti-clockwise order that is 60 degree 150, 90, 90 and 150 and in this question uh, what is the area of this pentagon and these are five options now come to explanation uh, from given question statement the corresponding diagram in this form that is uh, this pentagon in which uh, L is a line of symmetry and the corresponding angles in uh, anti-clockwise order that is 60, 150 90 90 and 150 and in this pentagon all the side are equal that is 6 cm uh, for sake of simplicity uh, I break this uh, whole figure into two parts that is A B E and B C D E as you know that uh, all the side are 6 cm that is this 6 uh, this 6 6 6 and this 6 as we know that uh, this B E is parallel to C D this 6 cm that is this also 6 cm that uh, area of this pentagon is equals to area of a first part and area of a second part uh, we notice that uh, uh, first part is a equilateral triangle and uh, second part is a square with each side is 6 cm now area of a first is equals to area of a equilateral triangle we know that uh, in geometry area of a equilateral triangle is equals to root 3 upon 4 into side square uh, we know that uh, in this question side is equals to 6 cm so this implies that uh, area of uh, this uh, equilateral triangle is equals to root 3 upon 4 into 6 square this is equals to root 3 upon 4 into 6 into 6 after some simplification this is equals to 9 into root 3 now area of a second that is area of a square is equals to uh, side square we know that uh, side is equals to 6 cm so area of a square is equals to 6 square that is 36 now uh, for given question area of a pentagon is equals to area of first plus area of second that is uh, 9 common which is equals to 9 into 4 plus root 3 this is our functions uh, option a incorrect option b incorrect because in which we have 4 option c incorrect uh, option d incorrect and option e is correct 56 of uh, I met and uh, in this question which one of the following is an equation of line that passes through 4 comma 3 and is perpendicular to line y is equals to 2x plus 4 and these are option uh, for this question uh, let equation of a line that is y is equals to m1x plus c1 this is a general equation of a line straight line and uh, this line l is perpendicular to this line in this question and uh, for this line slope is equals to 2 we know very well now recall that uh, if a uh, line y is equals to m1x plus c1 and y is equals to m2x plus c2 are perpendicular this implies that product of their slope is equals to minus 1 that is m1 into m2 is equals to minus 1 uh, this implies that uh, m1 into because in this question uh, for, for this line slope is equals to 2 so m1 into 2 is equals to minus 1 because these two lines are perpendicular this implies that m1 is equals to minus 1 upon 2 so our line l that is y is equals to m1x plus c1 can be written as 
y is equals to minus 1 upon 2 uh, x plus c1 now uh, in this question we also given that uh, line l is passes through 4 comma 3 we know that uh, if uh, this is point p and this line l passes through this p point this implies that uh, this p point satisfy this line that is uh, this 4 comma 3 must satisfy y is equals to minus 1 upon 2x plus c1 uh, this implies that uh, uh, for this equation this coordinate work as x and this coordinate work as y that is 3 is equals to minus 1 upon 2 into 4 plus c1 that is 3 is equals to minus 2 plus c1 this implies that c1 is equals to 5 put this c1 is equals to 5 in this equation uh, we get uh, y is equals to minus 1 upon 2 x plus 5 now after some cross multiplication we have 2y is equals to minus x plus 10 that is 2y plus x is equals to 10 now come to options uh, this incorrect because here 5 also incorrect 11 incorrect because 2 incorrect because 11 this option is correct because this match with the actual our uh, solution 2y plus x is equals to 10 that is option e is correct and option a b c d are incorrect now come to question number 60 of uh, IMET and in this question evaluate 3 into 10 raised to power 3 whole power 3 into 2 into 10 raised to power minus 5 and these are options and for this question we use two result uh, first one is a into b whole power m is equals to a power m into b power m for this condition and uh, a power m power n is equals to a power m into n for this condition uh, 3 into 10 is to power 3 uh, whole power 3 into 2 into 10 is to power minus 5 we know that uh, uh, 3 into 10 is to power 3 and power 3 equals to 3 power 3 into 10 is to power 3 and power 3 we know that uh, 3 power 3 is equals to 27 and uh, using result second is equals to 10 is to power 3 into 3 which is equals to 10 is to power 9 and we get the 27 into 10 is to power 9 and 2 into 10 is to power minus 5 as it is and uh, this 27 multiply with 2 we get uh, 54 and uh, 10 is to power 9 and 10 is to power minus 5 which is equals to 10 raised to power 9 minus 5 equals to 10 raised to power 4 that is uh, 54 into 10 raised to power 4 uh, but uh, in given option options are in decimal expression that is we have to convert this our solution in this form that is decimal form so 54 into 10 raised to power 4 is equals to 54 upon 10 into 10 into 10 raised to power 4 this is equals to and this is equals to 10 is to power 5 now come to options uh, option a incorrect b incorrect c incorrect and e incorrect so option d is correct